Welcome friends to Connected, your bilingual space. My name is Fabiana Espinosa and I'm talking to you all the way from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. Today I come with a new guest and a new topic. That's what we do here in Connected. Every time we meet on Saturday and Sundays and we get to know a little bit about other people. What are they doing? What are the things they have to offer? I believe that every single story, every single experience, it's worth it to know. Why? Because that's the way we learn how to become better or how to improve our lives. So that is my mission, to always look for people that is doing something great for themselves or for the world. I want to remind you that you don't only see us through the Avia Yala channel, but you also can see us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch our channel on YouTube. invites us to open our minds a little bit. What do I mean with this? We are going to talk about the benefits of a plant that is known by, I wouldn't say the negative part of it, but I would say only about one benefit. We are going to talk about the benefits of the hemp. The hemp is the plant of the cannabis. And did you know that we could get paper, fuel, food, and even textiles from this plant? Yes, hemp is a plant that is, has multiple benefits and it hasn't been used as it could be in our society. We have a law, different laws that uh, stop us from being able to grow them. Today, I want you to learn this plant has been mistreated because Everybody says, and most of the governments, most of the world, doesn't let the benefits of the hemp being known. But if we only use the plant as what it is, we can get medicine, we can get fuel, textiles, and food. So don't go anywhere. We're going to learn about hemp and all of its benefits. Stay connected. Welcome back, connected people. For the people that are landing to the show, today we learn about hemp and all of its benefits. There are several benefits from this plant. I want to tell you that I am interviewing John Laurie that is talking to us all the way from Zurich, Switzerland. Let's meet him. The consumption of hemp is off limits in almost all countries. However, in Switzerland, a decision by the Federal Office of Public Health in 2016 really stirred up the market. The sale of hemp is now legal as long as the concentration of the psychoactive substance tetrahydrocannabinol, better known by its initials as THC, is under 1%. The decision by the FOPH was a huge opportunity for John Lorry and his partner. Lorry, actually a carpenter by trade, is one of the founders of Biocan AG. He is the facility manager for cultivation at its site in Basersdorf. Today, we can find hemp products such as textiles, clothing, whole foods, plastic, fuel, paper, and medicine. It is my pleasure to introduce John Laurie. John, welcome to Connected. And as I said before, um, I really want to clarify because most of the people relate uh, this plant with only the recreational part of it. So I really want you to explain to us what is hemp? Yeah, hemp is a, a plant who comes originally from uh, botanical says in the region uh, between Kazakhstan to Himalaya. Uh, they call a special place called Almaty. Almaty is a place, so Alma means uh, 
apple is the original old uh, name for apple. So that means it grows in the same region as the apple and the hops. And yeah, hops is also a cannabis plant. This is also something special that people don't know. Um, you can cut off a whip of a cannabis plant and put it on top of a hops like uh, you do it uh, by the apples, you know. I see. And I, am be I believe that the plants that we see behind, behind you, that's hemp, correct? Yes, this is all hemp in different phenotypes. Phenotypes means uh, uh, hemp grows all over the world from uh, 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 equatorial condition to uh, northern region like Siberia, Russia. Uh, this is uh, grown since thousands of years there, that's why it is there. And the phenotypes is a little bit different, maybe you can see it behind me. I have two plants there on the table next to our product. Uh, the thin, lanky one with smaller leaves is the typical so-called uh, cannabis sativa. Uh, that's the one who grows more in equatorial regions, spreads more longer, uh, makes thinner leaves, uh, has longer for flowering. Uh, that's the one that uh, normally uses more for making flax, you know. The other one is the short one, the bushier one, the stockier one with the wider leaves. It comes more uh, from the uh, North Indian region, never like Himalaya. And uh, that's why he's stuck here. He grows in the mountain, have uh, hot weather in the days, cold in the night, and a lot of wind. All that what we can see behind us is also called uh, uh, cannabis uh, indica type with wide leaves, more stocky. And that's the one that really grows good uh, in Swiss regions because we are also all pine regions here. I see. It's really impressive to see this amount of plants under a roof, like inside a building. So that mm. leads me actually to the next question. How mm. does BioCan, the Swiss hemp pioneers, come to life? How did you guys put all of this idea together? Yeah, this is something like an old time story because once uh, same people started in the 90s, middle of the 90s, was the law in Swiss more liberal to cannabis. And in this time it was not forbidden to plant hemp as long as you don't use it as drug. That means right. as long as you, yeah, as you produced some iced tea with it and take the THC out, was no problem to produce something. But uh, yeah, this was uh, also a thing that we can produce a lot of different products in this time. And, and how long ago was uh, allowed by law to actually plant hemp there in Switzerland? 2002, many of those shops who uh, make this uh, Zekel and other hemp products closed by police and uh, state government. And then in 2003, right. was shut down, maybe. Yeah, the thing was that and uh, the Swiss government see also that was uh, no more uh, 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 possibility to producing hemp as farmers with these new oil laws, because in Switzerland, hemp always gets stronger, you know because we are an alpine region. We can see that uh, lately several countries have changed their laws in order to be able to work and to produce this plant. Uh, which leads me again to my next question. Please tell us what are the different functions for hemp? Yeah, the thing was that um, in my option, Hemp is a plant, whatever, um, what I said before, it grows everywhere from Asia to, to um, Russia, um, all over uh, America is also in American states and also grows from south to north. And it makes it possibility for everyone to make something with it, uh, especially flax. Yeah, the thing is that exactly you can do a lot of with it. Then the next comes the seed. Seed bring oil, oil that you can use for eat, oil that you can use uh, Years, 100 years before for burning lamps. Um, it's, uh, the other thing is, it's a really good oil. It's, uh, it's like olive oil, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a vital oil. It has a lot of vitamins inside, uh, amino acids. 
it's uh-huh. better than, than, than other other oils that we have in these times. Like palm oil. So or, here you're, to- you're talking about cooking oil? Yes, especially cooking oil. Uh, okay. It, it can also produce with the flowers uh, uh, medis- medical oil. Uh, you can produce with hemp also uh, other other stuff, yeah, you know, like fibers with plastic. Um, that's what the Henry Ford done eight years ago, and it's nothing new. That's the problem. Uh, but in this time, I think it will get a big revival, especially for food, medicine, and for textile. And what it really amazes me and. That's why I am so passionate about this topic is because how can one single same plant have so many different uh, uses? How can the plant become uh, textile? But then we think about fuel or maybe we think about paper. And even we have to, we can, we are able to uh, take the oil out of it and use it for medicine purposes. Behind you, you have all of their plants and you grow them under a roof, correct? We grow them uh, on the roof, also we have fields, we have also glass houses, we have different places where we grow and in different styles. And I believe you have more um, you have more control because of the weather, correct? You probably yeah. have to maintain a certain weather since outside you guys have a severe uh, winter time in Switzerland. So I'm assuming you already developed this technique where you can have them at the same temperature and same lightning maybe? Yes, yes, uh, that's, that's the point, especially when you want to produce for medicine or things like this. You have to make it indoor. Uh, because of that, uh, there has no uh, fungus or pesticide you know, who come to the plants because they have to be clean for medical products. This is not always okay. possible outdoor. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, it gets too cold, uh, some part get mold. Uh, this is not good for medicine stuff. You know what I mean? Exactly. All right. And then next question that I have for you. Hmm? So I read on your website that you use the hemp flowers um, mm-hmm. as a substitute for tobacco. Please explain yep. that to us. Yeah, this is also something special in Switzerland. Uh, it was in 2016, after many years that we're planting hemp. Um, we find a chance uh, to make uh, cannabis, something like a substitute for tobacco. And the government allowed that people can officially smoke it like tobacco is allowed. And this is something uh, new, uh, I think worldwide and shows also a little bit of tolerance from Swiss to cannabis. I have here as also one of the first packages that we can resell in 2016. That was the first one. And inside is uh, just hemp flower as we, as we know them, like this. You see them? Uh-huh, I see. And this is something that you can use as a tobacco substitute. I think that the, the best way to approach, right, to present this topic to people that are not uh, used to, to hear about it or to even see it, maybe some people are seeing it for the first time. Well, mm-hmm. when it comes to the medicine part, I feel like that is uh, one of the most important functions that we can use hemp on people. And what kind of treatments or what are the, the benefits that you get from the plant from patient to patient different because some patients uh, have uh, uh, roima they need more maybe a little bit more cbd cbd is the non-psychoactive part in the in the plant that means um, cbd plants who have a lot of cbd and the minimum of thc like our plants or the under one percent make you not high, they make you just a little bit like uh, uh, settle down, um, it takes also uh, sometimes chronic pain, this is something strange, as people with chronic pain, I have not so much pain after that. Um, the other thing is that, that uh, even people especially with cancer, 
right? And I believe it's all about the dosage, correct? Yes, yes, yes. This is also different from from patient to pain. Right, and it's like it's treated as any other plant, any medicinal plant that you take. It always needs to be guided, and it needs to be taken in pers according to your needs in a certain percentage. Um, John, we are gonna go to a cut really fast. I am fascinated with the information you have given us so far. Please hold, we'll be right back. People at home, stay connected. Welcome back everyone, and we are still connected with John all the way in Zurich, Switzerland. We are talking today about hemp, this beautiful plant that has so many uh, amazing functions that can totally benefit us as human beings. Um, John, please tell us, and I know you already show us a couple of your products and we talk about how do you use hemp in order to help people quit smoking, but I want to ask you, what are your variety of products? What else do you guys do over there? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, different products before, but the problem is the Swiss government don't allow it anymore. It was something like this, we call them the sea caps. This was a, a pill, i show you, with uh, hemp and curcuma, also pepper. That was one of our products. It was very, very welcomed by the people. Also the, uh -huh. the um, hemp essence, this is something like, a, um, Hemp tincture, something that we made what? before. A hemp tincture, this is something, uh, uh, alcoholic extract from hemp. Okay, so what do you use that for? I, I couldn't get it. Uh, so people take it, put them in water with a little bit of tea and drink it for sleeping. They're sleeping better than we say, it's like this. This right. was one it's probably of better products. than taking a sleeping pill, correct? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's always better to take something like uh, cannabis or baldrian uh, for sleeping than uh, roipnol or things like this. I see. What then else we do you have, have there? Yeah, we have also uh, made some... Uh, this is really a, a cannabis oil who is made for medicine. This is a huh. medicine cannabis oil, but it's also uh, right now forbidden. This is something like medicine oil, so some people know it as, as Rick Simpson oil. Uh, without a um, lot of THC, it's less THC, but a lot of CBD, and it's good for many, many problems, but it's not allowed anymore in Switzerland because uh, the um, drugist, uh, lobby, Swiss medic, Anything else that you have there hiding? <laughs> Anything, any other product you can tell us yeah, about? Yeah, I have, uh, have uh, other special products. This is the normal product that we have is uh, hemp seed. It means normal hemp seeds for eating. Also, because what I say before, hemp seeds has a lot of proteins inside, have a lot of good oils inside, has a lot of vitamins inside. It's a, right. It's a helpful oil. And something special that I have here is this here. This is hemp protein. This is oh, when you, wow. Uh, this is already comes in powder. You directly put it on yeah. your water, milk and drink it? Exactly. My tip is to take a little bit of coconut milk, uh, put some maple leaf sugar and some vanilla inside and you have a uh, oh, super wow. powder. Wow, that's great. And the thing is that this is when you make a hemp seed oil, uh, you press the, the seeds out, and you have then this uh, thick, uh, thick. Uh, when you grind it fine, then it's that. That means all the oil is inside, but still the vitamin and protein is it's about 50% protein inside. Also, this is much more than meat. <laughs> I want to thank you again not only for the job that you do and for the work that you do but also for spending this time with us and taking the time to explain to people and to show the beauty of this plant john i'm gonna have your information your website display on screen and um, 
I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave you some space for you to just say hello to the audience and invite them to visit your website and to know more about these plants. Go ahead. Uh, I thank you for all to uh, listen this evening, uh, to this uh, day for the show. And yeah, get more information about hemp. It's not so an uh, evil plant as some people say. It uh, has some good aspects since thousands of years. Also, Chinese people know them as medicine things there, and that could be wrong. So I think in future, I hope, it gets better and people use them more as a flax, as medicine and especially as food. Right. Thank That's you. right, John. Thank you so much and always to stay well. Until next time. Goodbye. Thank you. Such a pleasure to meet John and to learn all of the benefits we can get from him. I am definitely sure that these are times where we have to reevaluate what we already know. These are times where we have to relearn. Before, we didn't have as much information as we have today. As I always remind you, use the powerful tool that you have on the top of your fingers, the internet. Go there, do your research, uh, visit web page like the one from John, learn a little bit more and try to come up with new values and try to realize what is really good and what can we rescue from our planet. I will see you again in seven days. Do not forget, if you know somebody that is doing something great for themselves or for the world, please let me know. Write me to my email address ConectadosBolivia24 at gmail.com. I'll be glad to connect with you and even more, even happier to be able to share your stories and maybe inspire somebody somewhere. Have a great week and I will see you next time with a new guest and a new topic. Goodbye.